too bad we didn't get all that on camera. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit didn't want it on camera, so. <laughs> Man, he the I know. I thought he was gonna come over here and talk to us. Get it all out, bro. Let it come out. Let it go. Yeah, expose, yeah, get it out. Get it out. You, you know, it feels good. That's, that's part of the prayer. It feels good. To, yeah, that's praying. You yeah, gotta get it out. That's right. That's right. You know? How else would a problem get fixed if motherfuckers ain't out complaining and crying about it, man? Yep. That's the only way. That's that's the only thing Most High hearing is is, is, high is complaints. He, the Most High hear uh, 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 these motherfuckers uh, waking up because their wife leaving because. He couldn't, he couldn't buy those new pair of shoes for the whole goddamn family that cost $200 each, the new Jordan for everybody. He ain't listening for that shit. He lived the Lord the most high listening for legit bread. Man, is that too far back? This, I don't trust these motherfuckers out here. Yeah, I think they have a little bit too far back. Can you point it off a little bit? Yeah, I might have to do that. That's good, eh? Yeah, that's good. Oh, oh yeah, he's like one of my best friends. Cameras, like how you got it pointed up. Yeah. When, when you're watching the videos, it, it, lo it looks better. Probably so. You know, yeah. it just looks better. I always like it better that way than at the when it's just eye view, eye it's level. Hard to eye, yeah. I'm gonna read this on. This is what happened. To them. This is more of the Lord's judgment right here. Former Ohio State employee destroys artwork before killing himself at Wexner Art Art Center. Fuck this, your artwork. <laughs> right. And this happened today, Sunday. Um, this is Sunday, uh, um, November 28th, I think. Am I correct? 29th? Uh, 29th. Today's the 29th. 29th, yeah. right, right. A former Ohio State employee is dead after taking his own life at the Wexner Center for the Arts. You know, probably one of these old scarfers that was out here. Old, old I, bet, I bet we, they got a picture of him. I bet we seen it. You know, it'll be up in a couple of days, a picture of They did that post some pictures a few days later. It ain't no right now, though. Yeah, so the pictures usually ain't never posted to a pending talking to family first. <laughs> oh, yeah. Family Co Columbus police responded to reports of a self-inflicted shooting at the gallery. Well, you know, don't, don't be surprised they drug this motherfucker up. Cause they trying to push these gun laws anyway. Oh yeah, you know? just like that Planned Parenthood shooting. Uh, what was that? That just happened. Colorado. Colorado. Yeah, that was bad right there, man. Yeah, you know. Whether it was a setup or not, mm -hmm. they gonna use it, like you said, to take away guns, to label any Bible believers or con people with conservative beliefs as terrorists, domestic terrorists. Yep. That's yep. seen it all on the comment yep. boards too. Yep. Then they got the shields, the government shields, and the Jewish trolls. They, they, they spammed the Yahoo comment boards and the YouTube videos saying, we, we got to deal with these these Christian terrorists and these. That's what they use. Yeah. That's, that's what they, that's what they say. Because dude was a Christian. They keep using that when they always use that word terrorist. Mm -hmm. Personally, I believe they stoke him some in the to. Of, you know, if you see the dude when they was bringing him out. He looked bugged out. Yeah, he looked, yeah, yeah, exactly. And another thing, too. It's a good thing those people got shot up with that uh, Planned Parenthood. Yeah, right. I'm not crying. Yeah, right. Why don't yeah, they go right. arrest those motherfuckers chopping up babies? I yeah. mean, how sick is that in the minute? You going up inside a woman, chop, chop, slice, Woo! slice, pull the parts out, Woo! pulling a leg out of a toe. You can't get it all out at once. Yeah, 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 they tear the baby apart. That's disgusting. That's man. disgusting. But, they, but, but they're the victim, right? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, they're yeah. the victim. Obama said enough is enough with these guns. I'm through. I mean, he said he I'm, did say I'm, enough I'm, is enough. Enough is enough. So something big's about to come down. Enough. Is enough. And wait a minute. Um, the eve of uh, um, the eve of Thanksgiving Eve, while everybody's having a good time eating turkey, yeah. Obama signs the NDAA again. There you, you know? go. I didn't even know that. Yep, yep. He signs that he it costs it got to be renewed after so much time. He signs it again. That's, That's good my, though, man. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad this shit's going down. Yeah, he did some other shit too, though. We've been praying for years that it's going to take you. Yep. And check it out. That same night, he auth signed authorization for so many billions for the uh, the militants over in Syria and for Ukraine. So, hey. Oh yeah, because oh you got all these governors too saying we're not going to take these immigrants, these uh, refugees. They about to ship in. Thousands, thousands. thousands, probably a hundred thousand refugees. Yeah, yeah. Well, well yeah, they're refugees. Coming. Yeah, they're coming. They're hey, you mean uh, yep. uh, twenty-year-old fit up, men? Man? <laughs> you know you nails your like man. He's got headphones on. He, he, he heard we see him a lot, song. don't we? That same one. Yeah. Probably work up here. Just so many. They all look alike. <laughs> <laughs> they do, man.
They do. They all short as hell, man. They hey, this like car is short, motherfucker. Yeah. They got this little tiny women, too, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this little short thing. They got some fine women. Hey, but when you do see a fine woman, it's a fan. It's a fan. What do we say no about that, uh, we're getting off topic. What's that, uh? Oh, we got a fine woman. Oh, yeah. Funding. Yeah, because they bringing all the Muslim immigrants over here. They going, they, they going to set up more terrorist attacks. Mm -hmm. But they just, Vladimir Putin just came out and told the whole world that the United States is funding ISIS. That's right. Man, they got, he said he can prove it. He said he can give you names and everything. Well, hell, they ain't, you hiding it anyway. They, they didn't hide it. it. They yeah. had congressional hearings on it. They're right. You got, right. you got congressmen asking people, how, why are we funding ISIS? Can someone please tell me why? <laughs> right. They're like, no, can't tell you that. He's <laughs> in your goddamn business. Yeah, yeah, keep, keep it down. Right, right, right. Uh, Right, that's some funny shit, though. So it, 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 it's just a matter of time before some terrorist attacks happen out here, man. Because yeah, yeah. you go to the grocery store, you know, but goddamn Muslims. My dad was cursing up a storm when I seen him tonight. He's like, I went to the goddamn Golden Corral, and the goddamn Muslims is in there finger-fucking all the food. Oh, Lord, that brother. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine, man. <laughs> you know, he, he grew up in a time when he never you never see no shit like that. Muslims and shit walking we, around. We grew up in that time. Uh, yeah, know? really, we did too. We yeah. did. You know, when in the eighties, uh -huh, when you, you you didn't see no Arabs, you didn't see no Africans, but maybe one African. And that it, it was in the the, the corner store. Mm -hmm. That was it. I went to school with one African, and he was a Jake himself though. Because at first, all the corner stores were like, they, they, you didn't see hardly any Arabs back in the. Uh, in the 80s, not in this city anyway. Mm -hmm. But now every corner store is a goddamn Arab, a goddamn Muslim, a fucking Hindu, some other heathen shit, an African. Hey, there's an African corner store right by my house. You go up in there, it just smells like armpits. It stinks. You go, it just it smells, you're like, oh! It stinks. Yep. I go, I walked in, I walked right back out. It you stinks. Ain't, you ain't getting nothing from me. Yep, Cause they don't clean. And then they try to cover it up with some incense. Yep. Should be stinking. Yeah, the incense, that's not working, yo. Because I think it's just they, they don't, they, all that rotten meat, they don't throw that shit away. No, oh, yeah, always that rotten meat Oh, smell. shit. Yeah, even the Kroger stores, you know how usually the the big grocery stores usually uh, don't have that funky smell? It was only the IGAs and the, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And the super <laughs> dupers yeah, and yeah. shit that's well, be stinking. Shit. You can smell the rotten Now smell. you go to Kroger's, it be stinking. You smell like rotten. Yeah, you know about the super dupers? We got the big elephant. Oh, that'd be a, that used to be a Super Duper right out uh, Parsons right there. You used to go up in Super Duper, that motherfucker would be stanking. That shit just dirty. IGA too was the, IGA was the worst. I remember IGA like a motherfucker. <laughs> that shit was the, That was a trifling ass fuck. That shit was trifling. Yep, trifling as fuck. Now that's the standard. You know what I'm saying? That's standard across the board. Rotten ass meat, you know what I'm saying? This shit just stinking smell. Muslims everywhere, Africans everywhere, just stinking. <laughs> I mean, you get all these heathens together in a room, all them smells and mixing together and funk. It just, shit just gets funky. <laughs> That's why I don't go grocery stop shopping until like at least 10 o'clock at night. I wait, you know what I'm saying, until late night. Right, Monday. Yep. That's the best time to you can't if you go grocery shopping in this city in the daytime you a fool. It motherfucker you can't you can't even fit through the aisles. I mean you, them shopping carts. You know how you get in a traffic jam on the freeway? That's what happens in a grocery store. You get in a traffic jam in the middle of the, the chip section. It's like, mm -hmm. What the fuck? And you go in the, the shelves be bare too, man. Plus all these heathens coming to this country. Or Somalians come to this country, Arabs, Muslims. All these Muslims come to this country and they get the EBT card, you know what I'm saying, every month. And they, they, they keep money on that card. And they get more groceries than you. And we don't get shit. Yeah. Here it is, they, these motherfuckers can't speak goddamn English. They never did no work over here in their life. Never, you know what I'm saying? We've been here our whole lives. But they come to this country, man, they get all kind of benefits. Free shit, they get to live tax-free. You don't have to pay tax. Mm. And then they get to start businesses. Yeah, they get grants, they ain't got to pay get, back. They, 
All them grants they get, man. And if they go to college, man, don't hang it up then. If they go, he needs to go to college, they really get racking it up, man. And they get to buy good food, too. Here yeah. it is. People work up, bust your ass. You can't afford to buy that big steak. They'll take that EBT card, go buy steaks. You know what I'm saying? Steaks is expensive. I mean, I don't remember the last time I had a steak. It costs too much. You can't afford it. I really don't remember the last but time I had these, a steak. These motherfuckers with them EBT cards, they get steak. Yeah, they be packed too. Yeah, it's just fucked up. up, man. I literally don't remember the last time I had steak. Cause I, there was a video on YouTube that's it was it was steak mixed with um, pork glue. Yeah, they they remember glue that? it together. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That's when I stopped eating steak. Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah. Steak with pork glue. Yeah, they, they use the pork grease to glue the pieces together. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's not even real steak. It looks just like a steak though. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, that was it. That's it for me. You can tell a real T-bone though. Well, you know, I don't eat meat at all. Bro. I don't care, yeah, right. If I would ever eat meat, it'd be a steak. Not no, uh, not right. no hamburger. The Bible says you're not supposed to eat fat. That's right. You're not supposed to eat the fat. Cut that shit you're supposed right to burn off. it. Yeah. Cut that shit off. Right yeah, off. cut that shit off. Because, you know, hamburger, they take about, what, 50% lean and fat. They just take the, the gristle, all the gristle, the slimy fat. Hamburger, yeah. And yeah, they mix yeah. it together with the lean. That's where you get hamburger. You, buy that, you gotta buy that one. The, when it's really like, I'm talking to Paul, bro. You gotta sit on the side. Yeah. I don't remember the last time I had a hamburger, man. I don't even know that. But it's real lean, the real lean beef. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying to find this one. Too far, too late to run. What are you talking about? We're talking about a fucking Muslim. Goddamn heathen. Fucking heathen. Yeah, but they're going to keep... Yeah, like we were saying, uh, all these governors from all these states, they said that we're not going to accept all these uh, Muslim immigrants. Obama's like, the hell you ain't. We bringing them in. You ain't nothing you can do about it. Nothing they can do. Executive order. They going to ship them right next door to you. Executive order. Executive order. <laughs> They're fucking everywhere, man. Especially, I live on the east side, man. Was, that, that shit, that's like being in another country. You, you want to go to you want to go to Saudi Arabia? Just go to the east side, uh, Somalia. You can visit them all in one swoop. Just go to the Kroger's <laughs> right now in Hamilton. Right, right. Shit. Leviticus 26 and 33, and I will scatter you among the heathen, and will draw out a sword after you, and your land shall be desolate and your cities waste. Yeah, all that. That's another good point too, because our people, the Israelites, we've been scattered among all these heathens. So you don't have a lot of, even though we talk shit about these heathens, some of our people are scattered among those heathens. So some of these Muslims coming over here, they might actually be an Israelite. Yeah. That's why you can't just put them all together in one group and judge them as a whole. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, you know, yeah, you're right, you know. Because our people, are, they're more heathenistic than the heathen. Oh, that's true. That's true, too. You no? Know? Because you ain't, yeah, ain't got to worry about a heathen robbing you, do you? Yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. That's right. Who you got to worry about robbing Your own you? Your goddamn neighbor. Even though I can't stand a fucking heathen. Yep. There's nothing worse than a heathen, but that's I'm not worried about them sticking me up. Yep. It's your own neighbor that's going to rob you. Yep. I mean, my neighbor is Israelite, not the motherfucker that lives next door. <laughs> that's not neighbor. That's not the neighbor I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about right. neighbor Israelite. That's too much. Yeah, you're right, right. Sorry I went over your head. You know? Ain't nothing like an Israelite. Wicked ass motherfucking Israelite, man. Uh, ain't nothing like it. Just like the brother was complaining about over there. Israelites. Yep. You know? Then shall the land enjoy her... No, it's gonna be uh, I got a precept for you. What was you trying to go into? Oh, just heathens. Just okay, talking about okay. heathens being scattered amongst them. And, All right. You know, and the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. And there ye shall serve other gods, serve gods, the work of men's hands. Who's that, Deuteronomy 30? Deuteronomy 4. Oh, that's 4? Yeah. Okay. And, and, there, and, there, and there ye shall serve gods, the, the works the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear, 
nor eat, nor smell. I mean, they doing that here. Fucking Santa Claus. That's crazy. Something ain't got no motherfucking life. That can't, has no power to destroy you or to bless you. <laughs> That's Israel though, man. That's Israel. But if from the, but if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy power, thou shalt find him. If thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Well, that ain't the two thirds. That's the damn truth. Yeah, that's why it says idolatry. You know, a lot, a lot of the, uh, the early Christians in America, they consider. Hold on. A lot of the early Christians in America, they consider Christmas to be a form of idolatry. And they called course, it. Uh, yeah, right. They consider it to be Roman Catholicism, which is nothing but idolatry. Because you go up in a Roman Catholic church, what do you see? Statues everywhere, obelisks. Statues, crosses, Caesar bows there hanging on the cross. It's all about idolatry. You know what I'm saying? It's all about idol worship. All the Mother Marys, you know, they got the Mary Guadalupe idol. The Mary Guadalupe, that's an idol. You know, they wear the shirts. They set up the, uh, the Mary Guadalupe little uh, thing, burn incense to her. They praying the Mary. Yeah, they got the. Oh, yeah, you know, you go to the. Uh, Latino section of the grocery store, they got the the Guadalupe candles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Latin, yo. And they got the candles right there, boom. The Heart of Jesus candle, Mary Guadalupe candle, boom. There you go, you set. Just like going to the flea market, huh? Oh, that's, that's, that's even worse. Flea market, you don't talk about that. I wish I could find that video. We made that documentary. They got lost to the sands of time. Yeah, that was bad shit. And you still, you say you still had that video? Oh, that's oh, some oh, Latin oh. tribes. Those Latin tribes heavy in that idolatry shit. Um, first Maccabees 4 and 38. And then, then they fasted that day and put on sackcloth and cast ashes upon their heads and rent their clothes and lay open the book of the law wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Yeah, it's the same thing right there we Je just talking about. Right, Jesuit Bozia. Yeah, the heart, the Jesus heart, and the, all that bullshit, man. Right, bro. Praying to Mary, praying to angels, all this crazy shit. Like we said, even the Mexicans, they got the, uh, they pray that, uh, what's that dude's name? Jesus Malverde, or uh, mm. the, the Bandito thing. They praying to a gangster. How crazy is that? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Damn. They wear the hats and everything. <laughs> got belt buckles of him, hats, yeah, yeah, yeah. shirts. And he's a gangster. I always wondered, man. Oh, didn't they? Didn't they, they? They got the other idol. Uh, they say he's a freedom fighter, though. The Latin tribes are bugged out. They got a. Uh, they pray to the Santa de Muerta, the, the, the uh, angel of death. You seen it? Yep, yep. They, you know what I'm saying? They sell those at the fleet market. You can go get you a Santa de Muerte, whatever the fuck you say. It look like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> That's crazy. That's exactly what Esau does. Oh, uh, uh, Esau, you go down to, you see the videos on YouTube about the Bohemian Grove. Damn. If y'all don't know what the Bohemian Grove is, Google that shit, man. Uh, You'll find out all about it. Here you go, huh? Isaiah 45 and 20. Assemble yourselves and come, draw near together, ye that are escaped of the nations. They have no knowledge that set up wood in their Im that set up the wood of their graven images and pray into a God that cannot save. That's really, yeah, like he said, that's really the the heathens are big these fucking freaks. Oh shoot. Sodom. Death and destruction is coming fucking near. Whoa, and it's coming quick. It's coming quick. And, and, and you know what? The funny thing is, you ain't gonna repent anyway, so death, death and destruction has to come, has to come knocking. God 